Hey guys, it's me Natalie. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel as I'm posting every Mondays and Fridays. And we are a small but growing family, so don't miss out and subscribe. Also, if you haven't already, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you haven't noticed by the title already, today we are creating something very special. And I'm super excited to say that today we are creating, drum roll please, <laughs> we are creating vision boards. You guys, I am so excited to share with you my tips and tricks on how I create my board because I'm telling you, if you follow my ways, if you follow my ways, you will be creating the most effective vision board you've ever made in your entire life. I'm not even exaggerating. Like, it will change your life. So, keep watching this video because I'm gonna go into further detail on how I create it and the reasons why the way I create it makes it so effective. But before, let's get into what is a vision board. A vision board is a sacred place that displays what you want in life. When you hang it in a space where you see it daily, your vision boards bring your goals and aspirations to life. That literally perfectly sums up what a vision board is. And I'm telling you, it truly has the power to change your life. I feel like there are a lot of misconceptions about vision boards, but I feel it's because people are not doing it correctly. I feel like people think it's just gluing a picture to a board and then hanging it wherever and then just like, you know, lying down and just waiting for your goals and aspirations to knock on your door and that's not gonna happen. But before I get into that, I'm gonna show you guys what I use to create my vision board and show you how cheap it is. It's so inexpensive. It's probably gonna be the best $5 that you ever invest into your life. So let's get into what I use to create this vision board. So as I said, when creating the vision board, it is very inexpensive, does not break the bank whatsoever, which I love, I personally love. Let's get into the items that I use. Scissors, did not have to buy this because I'm pretty sure everyone has scissors in their home. <laughs> then I got some thumbtacks, so when I'm done the vision board, I can pin it up to my wall. Then I got the actual board itself. This board I got at the dollar store, it literally cost me a dollar and 50. And I'm pretty sure you can get this at your nearest Walmart, Michaels, or Target. Wherever they have an arts and crafts section, they should have a board like this. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be this big. It can be smaller. It can be bigger. Hey, if you have some, <laughs> if you have a lot of goals and dreams, then get a bigger board if that's what you need. Again, this is your vision board, so you personalize it however you feel it fits best for your life. So just keep that in mind. And then I got my pictures off of Pinterest. I personally like Pinterest, but you can use magazines, newspapers, any other online websites. I just like to use Pinterest because I feel like you can get all your pictures in one spot. And also, they're just a little bit more detailed and personalized to what you're looking for. And they just have a lot of aesthetic into them. So I just, I just love Pinterest. But also, you know that Pinterest is known for making their own board. So not only do I have a physical, tangible board on my wall, but I also have it in my phone. Whenever I'm just not at home, I can see the board on my phone. So it's like I always have it on me. So I really like that. That's a pretty cool feature. Well, other than that, that's pretty much all I use to create this board. Again, it cost me $5 for all of this. I don't even think it cost me $5. Yeah, actually $5 with the board, the thumbtacks, and the glue. But probably some of you already have glue at home. That's pretty much it. That's all I use. Okay. The moment that everyone has been waiting for is how I create my vision board. The way that I create it makes it so effective. I suggest grab a piece of paper and jot down everything I'm going to say because this is going to change your life, my friends, I'm telling you. As I said, I think there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to vision boards, but I think it's because people are missing two key steps. And those two key steps are mindset and intention. If you don't have those two straight, I'm telling you, your vision board, mm -mm. I'm not saying that if you don't have those two things, your goals and your dreams are not gonna come true. It will, they will, but they just won't happen as fast. 
when you put these two, intention and mindset, mindset, intention, doesn't matter in which order, as long as you have those both there, when you put those in the right alignment with your dreams and goals, it's gonna speed up the process. It's gonna create your vision board to become so powerful. It's gonna make it go from zero to 100 real quick, okay? Why I say mindset? Because if you go into the mindset of being negative, being angry, being upset, you know, it's just not, it's not gonna send the right energy into this board. So I suggest that you do this board whenever you're feeling the most happiest, when you feel like you're just having a great day, when you're in a positive mindset, I'm telling you that's gonna make a whole lot of a difference. I also think that when you're creating this board, you need to go into it with a mindset of gratitude. You need to be grateful for everything that you already have, for everything that you've already been able to achieve, for all the goals that you have been able to achieve in your life. You need to be grateful for what you have, period. So I suggest that before you do your vision board, write down in your journal or on a piece of paper or on your phone, 10 things that you're grateful for, and then go and create your vision board. That's gonna make a big difference as well. And three, I would say go into it with a mindset of that it's already yours. Everything that you put on this board is already a part of your reality. Again, this is where it might get a little tricky is that you need to have a balance, a sweet spot of not feeling pressured that everything on this board has to happen within that year, but also have that balance of knowing that everything you put on that board is going to happen. It, it's a very weird balance and that's why it makes it so difficult. That's where you really have to give in and let go. It's really this, this push and pull kind of feeling where you really want it and you know it's gonna happen but you're not putting pressure on it because you know it's gonna happen. But you also can't be too overconfident about it. You know what I mean? So it's really that balance of, I know it's mine. I know it's my reality. I know it's in my life already and it's gonna happen in divine timing and I'm gonna work hard every single day because I deserve it because I'm already grateful for so many things that I have in my life and when this is gonna be in my life, I'm gonna be just as grateful. So you really just have to change your mindset completely. Really put yourself in a mental diet. And I'm saying that because you just need to be positive and you don't have to be positive all the time because that's also bad. Like you need to also be realistic. You are gonna have your bad days, but when you have your bad days, that's when you have your board to remind you of what you need to do to get one step closer to your goal. So I would just say really focus on just giving in and letting go at the same time. And that's where it can be a little bit tricky. But I'm telling you, once you master that, you're gonna be set, you're gonna be good to go. Also, another trick that I like to do when creating my board is, so I have my picture, right? This one symbolizes for me healthy skin. 2021, I wanna have healthy, glowing skin. Cause you know what, 2020 hasn't been the best for my skin. And so on the back of this picture, I'm gonna write, in 2021, I had the most healthiest, beautiful, glowing skin. Thank you. And I'm gonna write it as if it's already in my reality, it's already in my life. I'm telling you, if you do that to all your pictures, it doesn't have to be a long paragraph. It doesn't have to be an essay. It just has to be a couple of words, preferably in the present tense or as if it's already happened. So that's also a game changer, writing on the back of your images because then it's not just gonna be an image on a board, it's gonna be an image with a message. When you write something down, it becomes so much more powerful, it becomes so much more tangible, it becomes so much more real. So I suggest writing on the back of your images as if it's already happened and you're giving thanks for it do it do it those are like my four top tips i think those were four so just to recap go into it with the right mindset listen to some music while you're creating your board be happy be in a good mood and i'm telling you that's going to be a game changer go into it with the right mindset of gratitude and don't go into it with an angle of lack or desperation that's just not going to help three go into it with 
knowing that everything that you're putting on your board, it's already yours. This is yours. This is your reality. You create your own reality. Remember that. And for writing on the back of your images is just going to make it so much more powerful and make it so much more tangible. So I would, again, suggest to do that. The last trick that I like to do in the back of my board, I like to write, and so it is. Thank you, universe, for letting me achieve all my dreams and goals in the year of 2021. Thank you. And I like to sign it. So again, it doesn't have to be specifically what I'm saying. You can personalize it however you want. Just as long as you're giving thanks to the universe or to God or whatever you believe in for letting you accomplish all your dreams and goals for the year that you're creating your vision board for. And I'm telling you that also makes a big difference as well. So, and it, it's really nice when you, when you take down your vision board after the year is done and you turn around and you see that you know, a lot of the things that you put down here came true and then you see that message as like, thank you. And knowing that you wrote it before it really happened, it, it's just a surreal moment. So I'm telling you right in the back of it, like that's what I'm saying, you can write your own personalized message that you know that when you see it after a year, you're gonna smile and maybe even shed a little tear. I would say that that's one of my tricks that I like to do on the back of my vision board. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you my board. It's already done, and look at how beautiful it is. So I thought I should just give you guys a little bit of a closer up of my vision board. So like I was saying, I kind of like created my own like Instagram <laughs> profile, and you can see that now it says that I have 10,000, well 10.5 thousand followers. Um, right now I have like, 1300 so again we're gonna get there the same thing I did for my YouTube page I made my own YouTube profile saying that I have 10,000 subscribers currently right now I have 46 but again we're gonna get there um, I did the same thing for my TikTok page saying I have 50,000 followers and like 300 likes on my videos so, you know, we're gonna be working really hard on social media this year. I feel like that's one of my goals is to be more present in my social media pages um, and really trying to become successful in that area of my career. I also have a bit of music here as well because I just wanna be more creative. I wanna write more music, play more of the instruments that I used to play, which is piano and a bit of guitar. I also have here that it says I am creative because I am. And then some special ones that I have as well is this is an apartment in Brickell, Miami, which is a specific neighborhood that I wanna live and I wanna move to Miami as well. So I also have another picture of Brickell right there. So that's something that is really special to me that I really want to achieve in the upcoming year is move to Miami. So that's gonna happen guys. And then this one I love, it says, I became a financially independent woman, yes. That's probably one of my biggest goals for 2021 is to become financially independent. I just want to owe it to my parents to be like, you know what, it's okay, I got myself because they've paid for so many of my things for so long and you know, I just want to finally be able to support myself and support them and so that's one of my goals for 2021. Another one is this girl, her body is insane and that's kind of really another big goal of mine is to really get fit and healthy this year. Um, not only just physically but mentally like look at this girl. She's drinking her water like I want to be <laughs> I want to be more responsible when it comes to my water intake and so Definitely being physically healthy and also, you know mentally as well There's this girl who's meditating and she's just chilling by herself You know, that's also something that I want to do this year is to meditate more and just learn how to be at ease with myself and kind of be at ease with silence. I think sometimes I get a little bit nervous when it's too silent and so I really want to practice meditating and just again being at ease with myself. Another big thing is being a morning person. I really want to have a healthier relationship with sleep. 
I feel like I don't sleep enough and so that does not make me a morning person at all. So that's something that I really want to practice for the upcoming year. And then how could you miss this beautiful car? <sighs> this is something that I really, <laughs> really want for the end of 2021 is to buy myself my own car. I know I can do it. I know it's my reality and in specific, I want a Range Rover. That's like my dream car. I've always loved Range Rovers, so that is happening. But overall, like my central theme of my board is a lot of self-love. Like you see a lot of love here and a lot of I am healed, whole and healthy. I'm a powerful manifesting goddess. That's really the center of my vision board is just self-love, being healthy, not only physically, but mentally. Right there you see it says, decorate your heart with the stars of self-love. Yeah, that is, that is the theme. It's just loving myself, accepting myself, forgiving myself for mistakes that I've made in the past and not dwelling on them and just letting go of fear and just being myself. Really want 2021 to be the year where I step into the power of being me. And so to end it off, all I gotta say is this is my year of dreams coming true. And you know, that's my vision board guys. And as I said, behind every picture, I have written a little message of intention. So I attract opportunity. I know behind this picture I said in the year 2021, I attracted opportunities and abundance. So all of these pictures have a meaning. It's not just me slapping them on the board. They all mean something very special to me. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy of how it looks. Again, I didn't cut them perfectly. For some reason, I'm horrible at cutting. I don't know why, but I am, but the intention and the meaning is there. Overall, I really do love how my vision board came out. So, yeah. So that's it, my friends. That is my vision board. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait till a year goes by and then for me to tell you what came true, what I know is close to coming true. Um, I, I'm just so excited to see where I'm gonna be in a year, so. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, please, if you guys are making your own vision boards, send me a DM on my Instagram page. Right here, I'm gonna link my IG handle. Send me a picture on how your vision boards came out. I truly wanna see them, and I'm excited to see how yours turned out. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me talk about my vision board, talk about how I make it and see how it came out. I think it came out so good. It looks so beautiful and it means so much to me. It has so much meaning and it just gets me excited for the upcoming year. Also, if you guys could help me reach the 10,000 subscriber goal, I would love you guys to the moon and back. So again, if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Go do that now press the notification bell button. Um, I am so excited about this opportunity. Again, it's not about the subscribers, it truly is the fact that I'm able to hopefully help someone out, create a vision board, and just create a positive impact, but <laughs> subscribers would not hurt. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Let me know from where you're watching me from. Are you in the United States? Are you in South America? Are you in Europe? Let me know where you're from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys so much. And also let me know what other type of video you'd like to see me do next. But other than that, I'm done for today. I love you guys so much. Sending you lots of love and light. Natalie. Mwah.